The most rebellious thing I've ever done was with my friend Becca in sophomore year of high school. She picked me up at 1 in the morning and we went to a 24 hour diner and I obviously snuck out to meet her and when I got in her car she informed me that she had actually failed her license test so she was driving with her permit. The two of us were breaking city curfew which is midnight if you're under 18 but we decided to make it a game to see how many laws we could break in one night. <laughs> We did relatively harmless things like run stop signs, but regardless, we ended up breaking over 10 laws that night. I'm not super proud, but in a way I kind of am because everybody needs one night like that in their lives. It seems I've always been a little bit rebellious though. When I was young, I went to a private school where tradition is very important and my sister and I actually each gave the school one of their firsts. My sister was the first one to voluntarily not participate in the first grade reading challenge. She knew the consequence of not attending the ice cream party at the end, but she gladly received it because she didn't want to participate in the reading challenge. I, on the other hand, was the first to not attend the traditional bell ceremony at the beginning of the year. Here's the thing, I've always been terrified of loud noises, so I was not keen on the idea of standing there while they rang this enormous bell for each year that the school had been around. It's something like a hundred rings and it's so loud and I could not handle that when I was that age. I was terrified. So my parents came and they sat with me in the school library until the ceremony was over and everything was fine, but they've never been big enforcers of tradition. Another thing that my parents said that was uncommon when we were growing up was call the cars by their colors. They were called the green car and the white car, and this was to show my sister and me that one car wasn't for one parent, that they jointly owned them and they belonged to the family, and that it wasn't a this is dad's car and this is mom's car, even though each of them predominantly drove one of the cars. This is something that I would want to pass on to my kids when I'm older, but kind of right now I don't really think I'm gonna have kids because that requires being selfless and I'm fairly selfish. For instance, this is kind of a weird example, but I won't let my mom do my laundry because I'm selfish about it. The deal in my house, as long as I can remember, is my mom does the laundry, but everybody has to help fold it. Last year I told her I was always tired of being the one who folds the laundry. Somehow it just always would end up that I would be standing there when the laundry came out and then I had to fold the entire load. She retorted with, if you're so unhappy about it, fine, you can do your own laundry. She didn't expect me to take that offer, but I did, selfishly. I don't want to do anybody else's work for them. I realize it creates more work for me to have to clean and fold my own clothes, but I would rather do more work than do somebody else's work. While I admit I am selfish, I'm not overly materialistic. My parents raised me to be frugal. We rarely buy anything that's not on sale or has a coupon unless we really, really need it. For quite some time, I basically only wore my sister's hand-me-downs and we never were allowed to buy books. All of our books were checked out from the librarian. I don't even think that I had been to a bookstore until about five years ago. This has kind of cultivated an obsession in me where I have to buy all the books all the time. I have a really hard time restraining myself from purchasing books when they're in front of me. I have to literally fight with myself to be like, no, don't go to that bookstore because I know you're gonna walk out with $30 worth of books that you don't need. It's kind of silly because I buy them used so I get a really good value for them, but it's still this whole air of mystery where I was never allowed to own books, so now I feel like I really need to own them all the time. I'm just starting to become okay with sometimes breaking away from this frugal element that has been cultivated in me. A couple months ago, I bought this stamp just for fun. Like I'll stamp my grad announcements and my thank you notes for them, but ultimately it was just an impulse buy and it's something that I don't need. It was also kind of expensive, but I don't mind because I love it and I'm starting to be okay with spending money because I'm spending my own money that I work hard for. And I think if you consider purchases seriously, then it's okay to have something fun every once in a while. You just learned so much about why I am the way I am. <laughs> if you have any similar stories about why you are the way you are, please let me know and I will see you tomorrow.